Hello to everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to introduce new page transition API that you can use on any WordPress site with help of GreenShift plugin and animation add-in. This API is working based on browser features so it's not depending on any script and will work smoothly without incompatibilities with any dynamic features on site. Using this feature is very easy. Click on top right icon in toolbar on any page of your site and find interaction panel. Here you can enable one of available effects. And practically that's all what you need to do to enable this effect. In current point, it will work in all modern browsers except Safari, but it doesn't affect site on browsers that still has no transition API. Let me show also more complex scenario when you want to have transition not for whole page but for specific item, for example for post image. To make this feature to work, you need to use special CSS property view transition name. This property must be unique for specific items and it must be the same for initial page and destination page. So, at first, let's see how transition will work on regular page without any property. As you see, it's just reloading page without any effect. Now, let's add this property on both elements from initial and destination page. In plugin, we can do this in custom CSS tab. Now I add the same property on my destination page. Now let's check how it's working with new CSS property. You can see that transition is working like it's animation on the same page even in the fact that pages are different. It's because this property allows to make snapshot between pages and animate element from one state to another. But what if we want to have dynamic transition from our post loop to our inner page? We can't just add the same transition name for all images, because browser will not know which one to use for transition and will fail to do this. We need to add different transition name for different images. And because we will have transition between post items, we can use post ID that WordPress generates for all items on your site. So let's edit our query loop. If you use GreenShift plugin, then you can click on pencil icon in loop to edit it. Or ask theme provider if they have option to edit post loops. Now we must use specific block that has name image element. This is because all element blocks have option to add dynamic attributes. Let's also enable dynamic link for our image because it will be different for each post. Now we can add some design options for our image. For example, size and proper object fit. Great, now we need to our dynamic property. For this we can use dynamic attribute panel. We can do this also with interaction layers. But in our scenario we want to connect HTML property with dynamic WordPress post ID property. As we want to add dynamic style then we add style attribute. And as value we want to use transition name as post ID. ID will be dynamic part and all other things are static. To make this value working we need to change our dynamic part to special placeholder. When rendered on page, plugin will replace this placeholder to dynamic part. And here we also enable dynamic option and select what we want to show instead our dynamic placeholder. Please. Note that we need this placeholder only in scenarios when you want to replace specific part of value, such as our scenario. Now we will copy our block, that's because we will need it also on our inner pages. Let's check source code of our page. We can see that plugin generates proper unique transition name for each image. Now we need to edit inner page to place our element with unique transition name. If you use block theme, you can do this in site editor. If you use classic theme, please ask author how to edit inner page.
as I copied element before here I just paste it in my single template. Now I need to change size of element. For this, I enable wide width and also change height of image. I also remove default feature image block otherwise we will have two images on page. And the last preparation. We need to enable page transition, but as we made own effect for custom elements, we need to use it with no effect. Let's test what we have made and I think it's working great for our purposes. But you can make it even better if you combine transition with some regular animations. For this I will select my title and meta and convert it to element block. This will wrap items with element block where you can attach animations. Select something more reasonable, for example, fade up option. We can add it to whole block or we can add also some stagger effect where animation is applied to each child separately animating them each after other. Of course, you can experiment and find the best combination that fits your design. But for now, this is all for today. God bless you and your sights and see you in the next videos.